What is happening, guys? Man, I had to sit here and listen to... I had to listen to this for a little bit. Like, the opening of this was just nuts. Nuts. What's up, guys? Welcome into the stream on this Wednesday. So happy to be here just hanging out. I had to get into it. We were playing Evil Within, and I've heard so many good things about this game. Uh, the Outer Worlds, and I really wanted to dive into it. I was looking for a kind of a game, um, kind of RPG. I'm kind of miss playing some RPGs, kind of getting into one for a while and sticking to it. So if this game's good, guys, maybe we'll stick with this game for a long time. Um, I know it's the same guys that did Fallout New Vegas. Um, so I'm super, super, super excited about that because I love Fallout New Vegas. I, I thought that game was awesome. I had a great time playing that. I played it over and over and over. So uh, anyways, welcome into the stream. As always, if you're new to the stream, I have these videos posted up on my YouTube channel. At the end of every stream, I'll get those up. And then if you like what you see, feel free to give me a follow on that little button right above my fingers. So, hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday. And, yeah, we're just going to dive into this for a little while. I haven't even looked into the game, so I don't even know. After this screen, I have no clue what's happening. I don't have a clue. So, all I know is the music and the opening of this... It's pretty sick so let's jump into it guys let's jump into it yeah cuz I yeah I got my um, new Xbox one elite 2 I'm loving this thing this thing is it's pretty slick it's got like some the the paddles are a little smaller the controller feels better so I'm getting this ready to fire it up let's get it going the music's got me pumped I'm liking it let's see what's happening Get over to the game cam. All right, brightness looks good. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. All right, I guess we'll do a new game. I don't even know. I don't even know what it's gonna be like. Will we create another character? I don't. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just stick with normal subtitles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we don't have to do cinematic. All right. I even know if we're creating a character. I don't have no idea. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, the Halcyon Colony. Right near 2320. God, I'm so excited for this game. <laughs> just like Fallout in space, I'm just gonna... I don't know. Fugitive. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. So the cryo frozen. Oh, attributes. Okay, so that's similar. Attributes. Personality charm is on average. Do we have... Okay, so we have six to spin. Six to spin. Strength. Affects melee damage. Well, you can carry. Yeah. So that's similar. 80 that. 
Ooh, so it's 20 per click on that. Okay. Dexterity. Melee attack speed. Range weapon reload speed. So handguns, dodge, block, sneak, lockpick. Mind. Alright. So they really did. It's similar. It's a lot. It's a lot like Fallout. That's cool though. Okay. <coughs> Do the personality. Usually I would go to something on personality. Because it would open up other dialogue things. Persuade. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And I've heard like there's a whole bunch of factions on here, but like each faction can affect each. There's like no good way. Like yeah, I think I think the game doesn't allow you to really be the hero, which is kind of more realistic, which is kind of cool. So we'll see what um. We'll see what it gets into. Okay, so this is what's up, life effect? Okay, guys. So I just opened it up. Literally, I think this is gonna be basically Fallout in space, kinda, because it's the same guys that did New Vegas, and um, yeah, we're going through and picking our attributes like at the beginning of Fallout. So um, yeah, just going through that. I I just got down to temperament now, so I'm on that. So. Let's make a character, guys. Let's get one. I feel like if this this game might. Uh, what do we have here? If this, uh, I didn't know what he was saying for a second. If um, this might be a good long journey game. Okay, so let's see. Temperament improves your natural health regen. Okay. By sneak, medical, engineering, determination, health regen per second. I know, doesn't it? That's. I'm, I'm telling you, so far I've heard two symphony songs right now, and the music on this is, like, spot. Like, it is spot on. It's brand new. It just came out, like, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's brand, brand new. There's so many people streaming it right now. I don't expect to get much traffic in here, but I don't care. It just looked awesome. and looked like a fun game to dive into. So just like Fallout, strength is going to be the amount of stuff that you can carry in melee. So we got six points to spend. I always used to go like charm and intelligence high on. Long gun science determination. Should we do more intelligence and then like perception, dodge lock picking? I'm assuming that we can put these more points towards this. I mean, I could just keep it, I could keep it balanced like that. Or we could dump another one in there. See, charm affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. So that's kind of nice. That's your natural health, re health regen. It determines effect melee attack speed range weapons and weapon reload weapon reload alike I don't know what it does on the weapon reload though and that's just how much basically you can carry and all that kind of stuff I like the high intelligence not so much worried about that maybe we take what do you think should we maybe take charm up one or should we put one in dexterity what do you guys think Maybe that? I don't know. I like this. Positive. You can, so you can have a 20... I'm assuming that it opens up other dialogue stuff. Let's go with that. Let's go with high intelligence. And let's go with high charm. We got some good strength. It's good temperament. And then I feel like our perception... Charm, right, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's go. Next. Oh hell, this is different now. I think we're gonna have to take an aptitude test too. Alright, so we got two points to put into certain skills, like a specific skill that we want. Melee weapon skill. 
Okay. I'm not a big meleeer. Ranged. All right, range. Range skills improve your weapon sway, critical hit chance with ranged weapons. Each point of range significantly increase handguns, long guns. Hey, weapons. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to handguns. Okay. Yeah, so we have to... Oh my god. Defense. Let's dodge block. So after 50, once those, I guess, total up to 50, then you can do different stuff with them. These are just like special skills. Okay, what is the dialogue? Talk to NPCs both in and out of combat. In and out of combat. So while you're in combat too. Intimidate. That's a good one. What's stealth? Right now, because of our intelligence, we got 20 in that. So that's kind of nice. And, and our charm. That's why our charm stuff's all kind of pumped up. What else is just lock picking, sneaking? Okay. Tech, medical, engineering, science. So that's going to be heals, which we got a lot in both of those. Leadership. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should we do some more dialogue? Um, or should we put some like in some of these weaker ones, like a specials, like in defense? We just got skill points. So this is... I was kind of thinking tech. Did we forget? You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. I was kind of thinking tech and... Um, man, I don't know. Let's do tech, defense. That might hurt us dodge blocks. Because tech had... Which one? Sneak head lock picking, right? Stealth. Sneak, hack, lock pick skills. I know, right? It is. It is. Let's just go... Let's just open the big hitters. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. Yeah, let's just get those because usually... It works out in our favor if we got good dialogue, we'll open up new quests and stuff like that. Um, let's go. <laughs> I didn't, didn't want to hit it. All right, aptitude. Oh my god, guys. So we're going to get to create our own character, make an appearance, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, this is an aptitude bonus. All right, drinking effect. Who can mix a memorable drink? Bureaucratic. Okay, so that's block. Persuade. All right, we did stuff in dialogue. Shock damage received. Okay, so there's shock damage in this. Engineer plus one. Dodge. I don't know what an in ray damage is. Food effect duration. Erosion. Plasma damage received. Science. I don't know what the determination one is. That's interesting. Maybe we'll go just. Let's just do. God, we got a lot in dialogue right now, though, right? I feel like we got a lot in that. Let's go to some determination. I don't know. You what it are is. better off without an indenturement contract. Okay. All right. What do you want to do? You want to do a male or female? I'm open for whatever. We can make it look like whatever. This is crazy. Oh, man. Let's 
let's let's get some can we get some color in there so we can see Look at that mop. Look at her hair. Oh, look at them duds. Now, th now that's a mop right there. Look. That's it. That's what we're going with, guys. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. Let's, let's go with that. No, I don't. Let's, let's try it. They got some cool hairstyles on here, though. Oh, got the bun. I was looking for mine, but I can't find it. That's probably... That might not be bad, huh? A little, little crew. Oh, what about that? Got that East Nasty in there. We'll go with that, because I, I, if, I, if I could have that haircut, I'd probably have that one. And let's make it... Let's go with the theme here. I like that dark purple. Digging it. Alright, all right, let's go back to face. Oh my god, there's so much. It's crazy. Yeah, the purple hair looks cool. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of got the... They got 15 faces. Okay, let's go back. I thought I saw one in the light. That one's not half bad. It's got like a... Chiseled jaw almost. What does that one look like? Can we can we can we take his Oh yeah yeah. I know you would. <laughs> you definitely would. Cuz that's what the, that's what like this is the, like like I was saying, this is the same people that made Fallout New Vegas. So it's it's going to feel like Fallout. And I can already tell like the the amount of detail they've already got in here. Okay, I'm fine with the brows. Eye horizon. I'm fine with that. Jaw. Of... Let's see if we get a little bit like that. Boy, he's chiseled. We got a. Bring his mouth up a little bit. No, uh, okay. That looks good. Kind of does, doesn't it? What should we do? I was kind of thinking that too. This one dude just looked like a raider guy. Where'd he go? He looks like we, that. I can't. I can't do that. Could it be that? <laughs> Make him a witch. Oh my God! It's sinking into his face. You think it's the hair? You think so? All right, let's see. All right, we'll go back. Let's go back to the face, because I actually, I actually did like this dude's. The face is kind of. All right, let's go back to hair. Back to hair. Oh, don't hate on the color. You're hating on the color. You don't like the purple. All right, what do you want to do? Look at that. That's like a. Uh, that's not bad right there, though, right? A little dirty. A little dirty blonde. I don't think they had black. That's a. That's like got purple and blue in it. It's got a little red in it.
I'm just kind of looking at these other ones, though. These. See, that's what, that's, that's what I was kind of thinking, too. I was digging the hair. Right? I see that's that I was kind of digging the hair. That's a little more chiseled. All right, he's got I don't feel like that hair works on that dude. This guy's not bad. Ooh, this okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think if I take the nose on this guy. Or is his nose? Nose size. Um, hold on. <laughs> we do not want that. Where is... All right, this dude's kind of cool. I wish that... Should we feel his cheeks out some? Okay, maybe a little touch. I don't know. His eyes are kind of like right in there. Should we... Whoa! Does it help him having bigger eyes? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. The Witcher. We could be the Witcher. <laughs> oh, my God. That's like wicked. That's kind of my color there. Super fat and puffy. <laughs> oh, that would be kind of funny. All right, he's not looking bad right now. I kind of made the eyes a little bigger, but I feel like his... Um... Oh, that made him look pissed. He's mad, dude. Look how mad he is. Although that kind of... That's not bad. <laughs> because of great it doesn't does it <laughs> hold, on, hold on hold on okay hold on which way is this I'll, I'll try it all right i'm just looking at my spot all right that's that's as wide as you can get on the nose and it actually doesn't look half bad all right and then Wide eyes? Okay. Hold on, let's try it. <laughs> it doesn't look... They made it where you can't make it look goofy. Yeah, I think they made it where you, you, made it, you can't let it make... You know, I can't even talk right now. Because that his nose actually makes sense being that wide. Like... Doesn't look half bad. We may just leave it. Right? I think they made it that way. Yeah, because that doesn't look half bad. All right, let's go. Skin tone. Whoa. That dude is, he's got some sun. He's been in space too long. 
<laughs> Are they ear? Okay, I was gonna say. We gotta give him a little, like a little something, right? He's a little... No, that's not what I wanted. Right, that's what he's got. That's what he starts with. I was actually cool with the tan. Let's stay with that. Features. And put some makeup on him. Oh, look at that. We get some eyeliner on there. Dirt. Oh, snap. Do we want any, like, features on this? We don't make him look like he's just been beat up. Like, there's the scars. I never put scars. Like, I don't even know how you get scars like that. Cat scratched him. Cat scratch fever. Joker. Oh, somebody just melted his face. Yeah, I kind of want to keep him clean, though. I, maybe, maybe clean. We'll just do clean. Oh, you can age him. Oh my god, that's crazy. I, I've never seen aging before like that. That's nuts. Whoa. Give him some ranks. Alright, I'm cool with this. You guys cool with this? I think I'm digging this one. What do they almost see? Let me see. There was a bluish, like... That's got both of blue and purple in it. I'm kind of digging that, too. God, Thomas. Character name, what do we want to call him? What, what, what's our name? What's our name? Give us a, what's a good name for him? I know y'all got one. We can call it whatever y'all want. I know Tom, I know Tom, you got some good ones in there. You gotta have a good name. You've already spiked it a couple times. <laughs> McAstronaut faced? Astronaut McAstronaut faced. Okay. That is the longest name ever. Let's call him... I'm gonna go simple, okay? Yeah, it can only be 16. Build the beefcakes. Nikki A. Oh, that one's good. I like Nikki A. Oh, yeah, I can't even fit that on there. Yeah, let's go with Nikki A. I like that one, Tom. I like that one. Let's go with that. Let's go with that one. Nikki A. Nikki A. There we go. Got it. Good job, Tom. Thank you, sir. Next. All right. There we are. Let's go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. 
bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Hyperdrive. Terra 2. So this must be Earth 2. Standard. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Don't go into an asteroid field. <laughs> ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Supposedly this game has a lot of humor in it, too. There you go. Like little stuff like that. I think the year was like 2320 is where we're starting. So 2320. Wait, right, what does that say? With just a little science. Oh, you can take your stuff. Okay. So there's tinkering. I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be like where you can do the computers is and stuff. This thing working. Ah, there you are. <laughs> now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. The smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be right? waiting for you at the landing site. I do too. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Oh shit, so we're going, yeah. We're just dropping in. Hawthorne <laughs> <He just got laughs> won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not right, sure I trusted the fellow. Might have oh, nice. gives us a little marker. Shame about the whole squashing okay, thing. Okay, so... Nasty way to go. Can there be a third person? I don't know. Jump over objects. Oh, that's... I don't know what that was. kind of cool with like the, the different environment and stuff look at that little guy hey, hey. the pet probably eat your face all right this is the sprint 
I don't see a stamina, so that's nice. Oh, something around here. Oh, man. That sucks for him. All right, take. Can't take anything else off of him. Anything in the pot? Well, Sneaky used tall grass and rocks. Okay, so you can sneak in grass. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. 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 Yeah, those don't look friendly. It's just a light. What is this? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Look at these little guys. What did they call it? They called it a, a sprat? Oh. Alright, I guess I'll go. Well, it told me to jump down! Maybe it's gonna give us some medical stuff? Who's this guy? Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that's dangerous. Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah. Okay, um... Oh! Okay. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. <laughs> Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Good idea. Ooh, give me your gun and I'll go get him. Lies. Someone grounded the ship legally. I'll hunt them down for you. Intimidate. Ah, uh, we can get through it. Just be it nice, huh? We should be able to be nice. All right, let's just do, let's be nice on this one. Let's start off. Let's start off being nice. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too. For patching me up and all. All Spacer's Wait. Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. <clears throat> You've tried the best, now try the rest. You got a lightsaber? Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna. <clears throat> Get you some. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Look, you can even see the veins in like his eyes. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't want to shoot, but yeah. Making sure there's nothing we can pick up. Oh yeah, what's this? Vice spread. What is that? Mag pick? 
just taking all this stuff here. We need this more than you, dude. All right, let's see. No. Nope. Okay, weapon management. You can have but four weapons equipped at any time by navigating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we do have like a lightsaber. Whoa. That's cool. Light ammo, heavy. Wow. Okay, this is the armory. Or armor. Okay, same thing. Okay. Weight, value. Oh, nice, so we can compare. All right, we're on the main quest, right? Are we on the main quest? Well, you can have botched quests. Interesting. So ones that you messed up on. Okay, so that's some of the lore. Yeah, and it tells you all this stuff. All the weapons, skills. Okay. Yeah, so this is all literally a lot like Fallout, which is really cool. Older Fallout. Okay. That's that end rate. The end rate causes internal damage to a target. Radiates them. Okay, that's pretty explanatory. Oh, nice. And then we got our map. Okay, cool. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Is this... Oh. Okay, this is probably going to be like Vats. I'm assuming it's going to be like Vats. TTD. Yep. Okay, so RB does that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay. So that purples are basically our TTD. Oh, there he is. Well, I just clearly missed him. That's that is unique. Whoa! Hang on, guys. I gotta turn this down. I got this. Um, they're pretty sweet. That new controller where you can actually tighten the tension of the actual stick. There we go. Unique New York. Unique New York. Try saying Irish wrist watch really fast. Go ahead and try it. See what happens. <laughs> it's like impossible. <laughs> I light ammo. Yep, I'll take it. Irish wrist watch. Irish wrist watch. Irish wrist watch. Whoa. Um, okay, how can I? Okay, can I just take? Okay, hold to take off. Whatever. We're basically taking in the beginning. We're just trying to figure out. Got some brew. This probably gets us drunk. Ooh, some more bread. Fish sticks. Fish sticks. Fish sticks. I don't know what these are. These mag picks. Some bananas. Hacking and lock fix. Hang on, let me see what I have to get places to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is 
five. What is that? Okay, so damage per second is 54. Okay. How can I? Is there a hotkey? No. Whoa! Oh, that's. That's kind of sweet. Uh, let's go to inventory. What's what does our saver do though? Seventy-three. That does fifty-four. Not as good. Okay. So I guess if we wanted to be like all sneaky, we could pull out the saber and just sneak on him and just. <laughs> Our sneak's probably not that great, though. We hide in the grass. I kind of like the colors on this game, too. Can you do a finishing move on him? I'm just, I'm just taking it all. We'll, we'll sort it out later. You gonna turn around? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. Reload, baby, reload. Okay, that's a little cooler than Vats, because everything's just like in slow motion. That's kind of cool. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Oh my god, that's cool. I'm liking the saber too. That, that's kind of nice. Okay, these might be good people. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rungling. I hate them landing Landing violators. in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap them with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. She's got like red eyes. Look at her eyes. Oh my gosh. Really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. All right, she didn't like me helping him. Okay. All right, do space choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you get these marauders to them where you're on the ship. Either one of these, I think. Because <laughs> zero on my customer satisfaction <laughs> survey. Um, I guess we could, since we're so high on all this stuff, we can do all of these. Um... Yeah, what's we'll it doing? Well, sometimes. Oh, he's too nice. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Listen to that dude. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna get him! I just 
turn to find <laughs> Waste of company ammo. Guys, that new mode that mode is really really cool. I'm just taking it all. Especially in the beginning. Uh, can we craft stuff with this? Maybe so. I don't know. Got a light pistol. One of them fell off in the grass. I don't know where they went. Get on that ship. You can Please fast travel. That this vessel contains no valuable plunder. What's that? Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. All right, so we got to go there. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including okay. the cargo hold's workbench. All right, let's do what they say. Oh, she's serious. Hello, Mar please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Um. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Um, yeah, just keep her talking. Jetson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, what? three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. That's kind of funny. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Some funny responses. I from the tone of your voice, that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require lie. some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Sure. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> I see your powers of deduction right, remain intact. Captain Hawthorne now. Intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I thought that was Fallout for a second. Engineering. Uh, the main drive's power regulator damage must be replaced. The Let's settlement ask. of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Another 
navigation console. I want to know who wrote the score on this, like some of the, the symphony stuff. All right, level up. Okay. Boys offline at this time, Captain. All right, so we already got a level up point. Skill improvements. Bonuses every 20 points. Okay. Yeah, so this is just like... Just, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we got 10 available. Um, all right, we'll put one in ranged. I think we're good on dialogue. Let's put some more in stealth. We'll get some of that up. Get a bonus at 20. Um, Put two in there. We'll put some more. I think we're good on dialogue. Let's hit it to some of these ones we don't have. There we go. Oh, wait. Um. Why? Okay. I got it. So you command them by doing that. What's the perks? Every two levels. Okay, you can acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Okay. Ooh, okay. So these are probably like... What was that? Th there was something in Fallout 4 that had something similar to this that you had to pick the... The certain cards. So those are kind of like this. That's interesting. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, base health. Ooh, that that could be. That could be cool in that. Um, damage went alone in a party. Okay. Walk speed, sprint speed. Okay, take care of weapon durability. Hanging crit, base armor. That's vendor stuff. Carrying capacity. That could be kind of cool. Tackle time duration recharge. All right. That is it. I remember that one right there. I needed all the time. So we could carry more stuff and sell more stuff. Vendor prices. I don't know. Should we just do more health? I mean, maybe should we just do more health right in the beginning? Because we don't have a companion yet. And I, I mean, we don't have really any good armor yet, but I'm thinking maybe health or the, or the pack mule. Let's do, let's just go health on the first one. I don't know how many perks we're going to get though. All right, let's go health. Go health. All right, cool. Cool. All right, can we go down here now? Is she going to stop us? If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the crux... I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Okay, so this is a... Yeah, so we can do weapon repairs. Yeah, yeah usually health is... It's, it's always kind of like right in the beginning. You kind of need it because you're not used to it. Repair, upgrade, modify your weapons and armor. Keep the combat ready. Yep, so this is just like the workbench where you can modify the weapons in Fallout 4. Um, repair it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, you can install mods. We don't have any mods. That's cool. Inspect. Hey there. Look at all the stats on that. That's crazy. Okay. Tinker.
Okay, so you can increase. The, I'm not going to do anything just yet. But I guess these parts that you can find, that's what we can increase the damage on some of these things, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, that shotgun. Okay. Fall off. Okay, what's the armor? Oh, that's better armor, that. Okay. Then we can break down. So let's see, because we got two of these, let's break down one of these. All right, we got three weapon parts. Okay. Okay. Let's put the shotgun. Does that need mean it needs to be repaired, though? That's what I don't know with the little wrench. Oh, condition, 95, 90. Okay. Yeah, so we're fine on this right now. What is this? So this is going to be like our little home base here. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Okay, so that's before he died. That's respec. So if we want to respec, we can respec from that guy. All our attributes. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay, so that's where the regulator goes. Okay. Okay, don't do that. That hurt. Oh, nice. My health is regening, though. Okay. That's kind of nice. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. All right, we're just checking the ship out, guys. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. So that's cool. So maybe we're going to build like a team maybe to have on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. What if that restocks? I don't know if you can, like, do decorations and stuff like that, but... Okay. What is that? What was it? Is that a weapon? It is. Toss ball stick. What do you catch? What do you catch something? Oh. Okay, so. Oh, we can't. It's a nine. Okay, it's a skill nine. It looks like it's a skill nine. All right, can we save this? Let's go ahead and save it. New save. It's like really fast and stuff. That's nice. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Yeah, fair point. Yeah, I'll let it go this time. If you're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. She's a prick. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Jeez. Can you talk to him? Damn, Marauders are out of control. I mean, it's, it's pretty open world, so we can kind of just check out whatever we want to check out on the way to our objective. <laughs> Oop.
he's walking at us, so I, I didn't want to take him. Could just go guns blazing on him. That's crazy we're in the grass. I, I like that kind of effect where you're in the grass, but you can still see out. is really cool. Oh, look how look how hidden these they're so hidden. That's crazy. That mode is really sick. Alright, we already got him. Yeah. Can we get in this? Nice. <laughs> Taking out the trash. Whoa. That's kind of cool. You can see the rings around. Light show. Jeez. Edgewater. Who's this little guy? Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Please I'm Nikki make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. The power regulator. Okay, yeah, let's ask Definitely about Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Stranger He's in the up in the land. tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Pins on. I do what I want. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Hmm, all right. I'll collect them. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. Abernathy. Wasn't that Abernathy's farm or something like that? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. All right, he's gonna be trouble. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. All right. Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. 
You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you It is, wrong. isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're survivors. I forgot about that. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. It's, it's a really old name too, isn't it? It seems like it would be like 1800s, like name. Maybe it just, just coming back in. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. I can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. What are they after? Loot? You got a marauder problem, I can take care of it. Huh? See what well, up. if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. Alright. Let's say, what are they after? Loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Alright, thanks for your time. I don't think I can Oh, I can. Okay, nice. I was hoping we could put the weapon up so it doesn't look like I'm always trying to shoot somebody. Yeah, in here. Oh, it's okay. No, we don't want to steal. I don't want to do that yet. Because I don't... It doesn't have, like, a sneak thing. Or is that the sneak thing? The bars. When they can't see you. Because usually there's, like, a little sneak meter to know that nobody can see you. Okay. So, no. Which is kind of cool, because it's... It's up to you to determine, I guess. Alright, let's go to Edgewater. Emerald Veil. Raising your dialogue skills for conversations and also unlocks combat dialogue abilities that distract. Okay. You can distract enemies with your dialogue. Admired and feared by some factions. Really? Okay. So some of these interactions we can... Try to talk to him first, I guess. I mean, that already kind of looks cool. This little town. With like the huge moon in the background. That's kind of cool. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Okay. Well, let's not... That looks like a bar there. <laughs> Open the bar, just start opening up fire. You read the latest report? Only the part. I'm Nikki Yay. Ooh, should since that's our ship? No, should we? Uh, Cause nobody has to know that. Yeah, this Amelia is... Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. Oh, sh but we have a. I badge. don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. I don't know if we should start going by his name because remember she printed it off like a badge or something like that. So you'll serve me a drink. Let's charm her up. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. 
I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Come on, let's see what you got. Let's see. What is, let me ask her. I don't Traitors. know. Traitors. A lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. If you want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Dressing down? You say it like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. That's fair enough. Go ahead. No, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if you knew anything about the hope. The hope? No, I've never mixed a drink by that name. I could get you a rum and something if you like. Wait, no, never mind. We're all out of something. Yeah, I got vague recollections of some folklore about a mysterious colony ship. Should we tell her? I don't know that it really matters. Does it really matter? Since that's where we're from. We're from Hope, I guess. That colony ship. Yeah, you feeling a bit flushed? Look, why don't you go set yourself down in the corner before you get all tangle-footed? Tangle footed. Then pretend you're drunk. Sober folk don't talk the way you are. Not unless they're looking for a trip to Tartarus. The Hope's folklore, all right. 60, 70 year old folklore by now. The board don't approve of spreading seditious <laughs> rumors and falsehoods. It's not you're false, but don't talk that way. I'm from I don't there. want a part of it. All right, dude. Okay. Look, either shut your gob or oh, stick a drink in it. We're done talking pissed. about this. <laughs> Just Whatever. Give me a drink. Coming right up. Okay. Okay. Bits is what we have. So that's I'm not gonna I don't need all this stuff. Can we sell or anything though? Okay, so that's minus charm on this. Boost personality, okay. Oh, you can sell her a saber. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna keep the ammo. Look at those bananas. Bunch of nanners. <laughs> Bunch of nanners. That's funny. Alright, let's not nah, let's hang on to it. Actually, I want can I put that on though? I think this is better armor. It is. Look at us go here. All right, I don't know how to do consumables yet. What is that? All right, heals 25% of health. Last two minutes. Okay, we'll just hang on to all this stuff. 
Modifications. Weapon parts. Okay. All right. I've been feeling pretty low these days. At least you got your health. What is that? Constable. Every time it pulls my weapon out. What is that? Nope. Is that the energy cells? Yeah. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. All right, if you need help with your marauder for prowl, I'm not here for hire. As a spacer's choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. See, I've always got like a thing with me. It's like I have to just get all a whole bunch of quests, get a whole bunch of them, and then just start... Knocking them down, knocking them down, knocking them down. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. She did. I noticed that. <laughs> I was just thinking that. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Uh... It says he's wanted. Uh, I'll just I am obliged to warn you against forming acquaintanceships, friendships, partnerships, or any felicitous relationship with a wanted criminal. I am also obliged to inform you of our referral program. For every criminal you refer to the authorities, the board will reward you. So you could turn him in. You could we could turn the scientist in, I guess. I'm obliged to remind you that questioning the veracity of the board's orders is a punishable offense. Consider this your last warning. Oh. Everybody here in this world is like on pins and needles. Oh my gosh. Wells has been wanted for as long as the board decides he has been wanted. This decision will be made in accordance with Wells's behavior upon arrest. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy as Facer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Something to report? Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. I've been feeling pretty low these days. I know how you feel. Maintenance division. Okay, so you could do same thing we could do on our ship. What is this? This must be somebody's house. Yeah, somebody's house. All right, before we start. That. Okay, so these are like the t okay. Somebody found one left hand. Loose lips. Okay, that's barred. What's this thing? Nothing. Bending machine. 
The vendor. Okay. A hack skill 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Okay. Whoa, look at that hammer. Like a smash hammer. A better pistol, light machine gun. About the same on the saver. Okay, so these are some of the better armors. We don't have enough. We don't have enough yet, but health. Ooh, okay, this is a mod, so you can buy mods from the vending machines too. Okay, one thousand for that. One thousand, four thousand. Okay. I just don't know what to sell quite yet. Like, I feel like we could sell this just to get it out. All right, I'm not going to use that. We'll get rid of that. And we had two savers, so... I'll hold on to the weapon there. Okay. Space, health, and safety, schedule, six leave, okay. Approach other members of space, uh, two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. Lost hours from speak. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's just those logs. All right. We'll see what's up. We'll talk to the town leader. monkey Argo I'm sorry Mr. Thompson sir you asked why it's taking so long to fix the answers technical don't apologize just try using small words for me spacious the choice bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna which isn't what we've got Mr. Thompson I think there's someone here to see you focus Miss Holcomb you and I are still talking Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Wait. Because <laughs> I put the outfit on, they noticed it. Oh, okay. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. All right, my ship needs repairs to look for a regulator. Yeah. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Like this is a trap. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but 
There are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. What a surprise. I never guess. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, <laughs> they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Basically, he needs his slaves back. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. All right. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I was gonna say we we didn't have we don't have to shoot them up in this one. So Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. Yep. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Hope. Oh. All right, I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Oh, we get a companion. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, we can use right. company. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. I, I don't believe this guy. I don't believe him at all. I feel like I feel like he's bad, but I, it's... Okay, Pimp Energy can find combat support. Yep, they carry stuff. That's great. Cool. Nice. Let's go. Miss Holcomb, let's go. All right, so we need to stop by the labs. Oh my god. Is she with me? Hey, listen, can you talk? Is this stealing? It's stealing. What? Do you got something? Can we Sorry. I you just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. This is about the deserters, so what's on the other side of it? Um, figures read. Yeah, he didn't, ex yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. I'm sure he does. Just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Town's got issues. What did you know the deserters you worked with them and your friends or what? I don't know anybody well. 
I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. He's on the sweet side. All right, we'll see if she Ms. knows McDevitt. it. Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. See, this is cool too. I like the look of this game too because it still has like that 40s, 50s, maybe 30s era. It's kind of cool. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. All right, speak to Max. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. All right. Thanks, mister. I just think when you got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. No, I'm with you. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Smart man. Okay. All right, so on the east side of town. So let's go to journal. Uh, there's the grade fees. Okay, the optional. All right, she said on the east side of town, so I'm assuming that's the over here. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threat. Okay, this is probably him over here. What is this thing? It's like a sewage? I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Like a church? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Um, I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here, except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just, there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Huh. I don't know what to choose on this one. Are you the first one? 
Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Isn't it your job to raise that? I would assume so, yes. yeah. But there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. <laughs> yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. Oh. Hey, oh. Oops, sorry, guys. Oh, man, it's party time. I right, got a text from the wife. That's a good text. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's ask him. What? I thought you would talk to him. Oh, you wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Yep, he has to just cut off the power to them. Uh, we'll say that. That seems well within your expertise. The way we do it's by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt's encampment. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. <laughs> All right, so what do you advise? Um, let's ask him about that. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Yeah, I'm kind of with that. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. What do you advise? Assuming your goal is to Activity save says. as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. All right, so we just got to, we just basically got to convince them. Not left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. All right, so he wants the book. Now, why would he be banned? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Yeah, tell me some more. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it? All right. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Something you need? 
Okay, so this is how... Oh, okay, so maybe she opens up a quest with this. That's on account of how I never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That's messed up. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. But they're the Reapers. They're the Reapers. Uh, whenever you see a machine, it needs to be figured out. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Alright. Off to it. All right, we're going to be on that same quest, right? Comes now the power. I don't think this is going to mess up any of these. Okay. Yeah. Saltuna. Saltuna Cannery. Ooh, okay, what did that say? It said unique armor and something can be found somewhere. Ray's attack causes internal damage to a target, which radiates them more in rays to surrounding targets. Okay. I mean, they did a good job on this for a game that's this big and for a team that's not really that large that designed and created this. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. All right, that's 600 meters that way. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game so far, right? It feels like Fallout in space, honestly. It literally feels like... Because I know what we're going to do. This isn't the only map we're going to go to. We're going to get in our ship and go to another planet. Look at that volcano over there. Whoa, is it like... Get ready. Oh, shit. Oh, we didn't... Where's that? Oh, that is just sick. <laughs> that is sick. That mode is so sick. Examine. Space choice ecological sound tier two. Uh, leaving their nesting area. Oh, is, okay, so it's monitoring them. I just smoked them up. Okay, so we'll probably have to deliver this at the next site. I'm assuming. The mac and cheese. Well, that, that sucks. It's just somebody just snacked on the arm and leg. Bit cartridges. Storing them in a bit cartridge uses. Uh, 
Okay. I don't know what that is. I picked up a beak. Interesting. Oh, that's a big dude down there. Yeah, he that's a big dude. Um What you do? Oh my god. She did like this this power move on him. Am I flanking me? Oh, we, we have got to increase that. Okay, good. Woo. Toss ball card. I don't know what this is, but... Okay, so the bits... He had a light machine gun. Ooh. Okay, I don't want... I wonder what these cards are. Ooh, that's a, uh, a mod. Plasma damage. We'll have to check that out. And that's like a reload one. So we got faster reload. That's cool. Yeah, we've got we gotta boost that. Um It's not VATS, but that whatever they called it. PTD or something like that. Oh, it's a lot of dudes this over here. So let's take them. Yeah, these guys are bad. There's, I don't think there's any talking to these guys. She did like this crazy move. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got an assault rifle. Um, DPS is high on that thing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's light machine gun. I don't know what this little... Oh, guys, right there. Okay, that's the shotgun. Oh shit! Oh no 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 no! Can't stop. Oh, she's hitting him. need that service award a medium size award typically of the what is that I will we'll take it light ammo we need oh that's meat this only need that meat all right we get some skill points now better at helmet 
Item repair. Okay, so this is where we can repair on the go, maybe. No? Okay, this is whip. Okay. No. What are we on repair? That's 100%. 100. Oh, the shotgun is in, like... Shotgun is just toast. Okay. Shotgun is toast. That's cool how we can mod all this stuff. It's a low pressure suit. Is that better than what? I don't know if that's better though. Nine. Yeah, yeah, it is. There we go. Oh, it's a utility mod. Okay. We'll take the mods. Because we don't know what we're going to use yet. What's that? Like some kind of food, I guess? Is that food? All right, let's check. Can't go in there. Is there no way in there? Weapon parts, yep, we'll take those. Armor parts, yep. Plasma cutter. It's like a sword, I guess. I guess we don't have the ability to use that yet because we're not high enough ranked. Is that what it said? Yeah, level seven. That's why, yep. Alright, so we we can't get in that building. Let's see what's in here. Our parts terminal. Message. I wonder if this does like fall out as well and opens up other messages and stuff. Uh... Okay. That Earth is the heart of the whole colony system, but the real adventure. Independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here among the future colonies, furthest colonies. I think. Mm -mm. Okay. We gotta repair our shotgun. Board game, what's this? Ooh, heavy ammo, energy cells. Okay, we can't do that yet. Don't have enough lock fucking uh, lock picking skill yet. All right, took these guys out. Who do we got a day and night cycle too? That's kind of cool if we do. Gotta find some more assault rifle ammo too. Oh shit! We got him! We got him! We got him! What they bring us? Ammo. 
We don't need that. Keep taking the adrenaline. We don't need the mining gear. Oh God, we got to get our lockpick skill up. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, there's a mine. Oh, there's are mines everywhere. Getting my bearings here. I didn't know we can go up in this place. Kind of feel like we just need to check everything. Some of these things are not going to be able to unlock. Ooh. Huh? Thing fire so fast. Nice one. Reload. Got him off. Oh my gosh, she like karate chopped him. Or karate kicked him. This thing is ridiculous here. We got skill points. Go wait though. Oh, nice. What is this? See, I don't know what these Mac. I don't know what those are. Mac picks? Maybe it's like lock picks? Drain loads. Okay. Do we need that? I don't know if we need it. I'll just pick one up. Oh, we can unlock this. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see what we kind of got to do now. Hacking and... Okay. Nice. I didn't, nothing in here said steel, so I didn't think, I thought it was deserted. A bracelet. I like how it opens everything up for you too, that's, that's really kind of cool. Okay, so that's that's a big door there. Cut. All right, we got some um some other weapons here. Can I use this? 94 DPS. Damage 37. What is this guy right here? Okay, I can't use this yet. Use this revolver though. I bet it hits. That's a bypass thing, so it's like a Jimmy. The Marauder. G oh my god. Oh, reload. Make you pay. Well, that's smart. Ooh. Uh. 
Uh, yeah, that's a light pistol. I just want their, their ammo right now. This thing kind of hits. Okay, so those are nothing. She regenerating? All right, let's see what that says. It says journal. Okay, so let's go to this. I don't, I don't want to pop in there first yet and mess up the quest or anything. So let's go up here. That's locked. Oh, yes. Okay, so these help with lock picks. I do know that. Uh, no, we're good on that. I'll just... That's like glue. I bet you need that for crafting stuff, I'm assuming. Maybe? I don't know. I got so many of those. We'll grab it. All right, let's use our skill points. Um, we got 10. Okay. Do we have lockpick on here? Okay, we do have lockpick. That's at 21. All right, we got to get those over. All right? Yeah. All right. Dialogue is in a good spot. Pump some in our our weapons. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that. We'll give one for that, and we'll give two more for that. We'll boost that up. Oh, cancel fly perks no perks available yet all right we're still neutral okay good yeah let's save get a save in love these games because you get so lost like just in playing them move along stranger we don't want any trouble Ooh, i don't know you whatever you're looking for it ain't here move along what's your problem i'm strangers wandering into my camp for one some of my camp wandering out for another. You want to try standing outside in the heat, keeping your sights open for the next Marauder raid? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Well, she didn't. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Got some scars on her face. Could do without the gallows humor. <laughs> Over in the hothouse, tending crop. I'll tell you what I can. Any idea where we might be fine? Yeah, let's see. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around in her room? 
little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. That movie Good they big. took her away. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Let's change the subject. What is it? All right. Let's go down here. We're not. We're just going to go straight to the point. Oh, no. So pretty. Yeah, pretty. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. These Any are nice people. Dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb. Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Adelaide. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying oh. long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. <laughs> tobacco tea. No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe. And the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. Yeah, me, the me too. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago. But I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Heaping? It's a heaping. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Well, she doesn't really want to talk about it. <laughs> Something there. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? <laughs> Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Yeah, he's slick. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I need the regulator. Canary's got a regulator. 
You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about oh, it. they're gonna make us choose. You've been an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. All right, there's some definitely something too going on with her as well, but not like him. She seems a little more, um, like good hearted. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps, hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't much like you throwing it in her face, get me on your side. Say, I hope you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. All right, I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. We're going to have to go around and ask some folks. All right, guys, I tell you what, we're just going to pause right here. Pick it back on Friday. This is awesome. Awesome. I'm having fun with this. Super cool. This is, it's like, a, it's a really like, um, It's a super, super, super cool, like, space fallout. Like, I feel like they've done a great job on it so far. Like, the, what they were able to kind of do with this game, um, with what I read with their development team and stuff like that, I think it's amazing. I mean, it, it feels like Fallout in space. So, I'm super excited to keep going with this and actually see what uh, see what we can do. There's so many things. We've already got a hard decision right here. we got to decide whether we're going to cut off power either that city or over here and that's going to determine a lot of things that's going to determine a lot of things going forward so we'll have to pick that up on friday guys let's do it on friday so um thanks to everybody for watching and i appreciate it um and as always i'll have this up on the youtube we're going to start that new series of uh of this uh and i'll have it up on the youtube sorry my brain went Dang. But uh, yeah, I'll have that up uh, probably tomorrow. I'll put this one up. We'll start that that kind of um, that adventure with this. This game's this game's fun. I'm I'm sure it's gonna take us a long time on this. I, I'm assuming we'll be on this for a couple weeks and stuff like that. So I may trickle in another game uh, during the day, something like that. But I think it's cool. I was actually looking for a really good RPG to play, and this might be. Hopefully, this will turn out to be it. The gunplay's kind of kind of fun with it. I love that little like um, it's old. It's almost like the Fallout Vats where you can just pause it's like slow motion so we got to increase that that increased is going to be sick that's sick that's a lot of fun so then we'll get into maybe some crafting stuff i don't know we'll see if there's some crafting stuff on here just having a lot of fun so anyways but yeah if you like my channel feel free to share it around uh let people know that what, what i'm doing i tend to do this on uh, monday wednesday friday saturday from 8 to about 10 30 somewhere in there and then i yeah i just post these back up just having fun with this i do music stuff on the side as well so this is just kind of a fun thing to do every now and then um and yeah and if um yeah i want to thank strong jewelry again i'm, I'm rock my bracelet right here if you guys are, uh, are not familiar with them it's a uh, they make jewelry out of guitar strings and stuff like that awesome company if you want to check out some of their stuff they, they got me hooked up on some swag here it's uh, getstrung.com be sure to check them out um, they got a lot of a lot of cool stuff it's like guitar string bracelets and stuff like that uh, rock bracelets um, really cool stuff guys be sure to check them out at uh, getstrung.com uh, Anyways, guys, we'll pick it back up on Friday. Thanks so much for hanging out this evening and watching the stream, and we'll kick it back off on that day.
in two days. All right, guys. Have a good night. See you. Stay in the rock, jubble 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 in